the United Kingdom, preparing to bury its queen, her image seeming to post from every street corner and store window, signs advising customers that shops will close for tomorrow's state funeral. People still hoping to file past the queen's body, lying in state at Westminster Palace, had to judge their times carefully if they wanted to make it through before morning. The line, or the queue as Brits call it, has become its own phenomenon, with Twitter feeds and live maps estimating the length of the wait. We started at 7.30 this morning queue in. I think it's just important because this is history in the making. And not that I'm a royalist, but you have to give her credit for who she was. Hundreds of thousands of people have stood in line over the past four days, times averaging between 12 and 20 hours. She was a great woman, you know, always been amazing to the country, to us, to, you know, the, um, how do we say, the um, people who come from all the countries, you know. The mood has been one of great conviviality, or so say observers. Well, I don't think there will be another queue like this in history ever after this one. Political scientist Rob Johns has been polling many in line. I think the queue has become an event in itself. So people, it's not just about the end, that, that one minute in Westminster Hall. It is about the means to that end. He it says it seems to be a and unifying the experience. That, you know, they look quite like Britain in terms of their age profile, in terms of the gender balance, in terms of even ethnicity. This is not the very white queue that, um, that people predicted. Also making their way to Westminster to pay their respects, although able to jump the queue, many of the world leaders and dignitaries arriving for the funeral, including US President Joe Biden, offering his condolences. To all the people of England, all the people of the United Kingdom, our hearts go out to you, and uh, you were fortunate to have had her for 70 years. We all were. The world's better for her. Thank you. Later, guests were invited to Buckingham Palace for a reception hosted by King Charles. And when darkness fell, there was a moment of silence in Queen Elizabeth's honour. Those still in the queue pausing briefly before continuing their journey on into the night. And Margaret, on the eve of his mother's funeral, the king has a new message for everyone. That's right, Ian. He released a written statement this evening saying how moved both he and his wife, Camilla, the Queen Consort, have been by all the gestures of support, not just from people here in the United Kingdom, but from around the world. He did mention in particular people who had come to London, had come to Edinburgh, Cardiff and Hillsborough. But in the end, he said he wanted to say a simple thank you on the eve of his mother's final farewell to people who had supported him and his family at their time of grief. Thanks, Margaret. You're welcome.